Ok, uh, hi Fiori, welcome back to the channel, my name is Gianluca and uh, I'm trying to write in this concept album. I already did the first song, which is the reason why I decided to make a concept album. Today I'm not feeling inspired at all, I don't know what I'm going to record, but I want to record something. Uh, I don't want to start with guitar. <laughs> I decided to go with keyboards. Ah, by the way, I'm not a keyboard player. I, I just know the, the, the notes on the keys, uh, a bunch of music theory, and let me, let me change the placing of the camera, by the way. No. Less, uh, less shit. Anna, oh, I'll say Anna. <laughs> Anna Long, <Woody. laughs> uh, mm, Okay, so this is the, uh, a nice melody slash riff, uh, but I don't like the sound of the synth. I'm gonna change it for uh, let's go classy with a uh, Woody. of life maybe with some delay let me record it Let's loop it, and I think we can add some sort of pad or string, but really heavy processed ones, uh, like um, with a ton and a half of reverb, because I love reverb. Here. just because I wanted to add some rhythm to this idea, theme, uh, whatever you want to call it. It's super simple. Drum by GGD, extension pack, invasion, which is the best one in my opinion. And I'm looping it. Even though, so, so I can I can play without the click, because sometimes when I, when I come, when, I, when I'm writing and and I still have the click underneath, uh, it constrain my, uh, uh, it tend to constrain my idea. I tend to play um, only in that time signature, only in that uh, BPM, in the, with, within that BPM. Maybe sometimes you just wanna go off the rail, okay? You wanna find that melody that is in seven rather than four or three or whatever the fuck it is. Okay, let's, uh, let's uh, jam a little again with these strings. Um, so I'm feeling stringy today. The melody is simple, but I want to go the extra mile. Emissary. Emissary. <laughs> And a touch of modulation. Why? Because modulation is king. Axis flanger. Van Allen rules, guys. Let's record a song.
good idea. Let me work on it. Uh, maybe I will turn on the camera when I have uh, uh, an interesting feature. Okay. No, I can't. I can't come up with a melody right now. So what I, what I. What I do when I don't know what to sing on top of it, I do something that every guitar player do. I try to play a solo on top, but I don't want to play a solo... Uh, let me see if it's in tune, by the way. I don't want to play a solo to play a solo, to shred. I want to play a solo to find a melody, okay? Uh, almost like... Think about it as... Um, For the Love of God by Steve Bay, which is a vocal melody played on guitar and if you don't know Steve A for the love of god uh, where the fuck did you live especially if you play guitar by the way this is a prs that one of my um the guitar player in a band where i play bass a hip-hop band by the way uh, gave me this guitar to try prs i don't know if he if he if he had done something to the guitar, but PRS, a $3,000 uh, guitar that doesn't stay in tune, but what the, how the fuck is possible? I like this part. Craziest idea in the world, but I like it. Ocho. Uh, but I forgot. <laughs> I forgot to. Loop it uh, correctly. Uh, it's a pain in the ass. I I want to have assistant and other band member when I do this this shit. I really hope to find someone else to work on it again. Now. Something else. Let me work uh, on it. Everything is fucked up now. But I decided to come from this guitar solo. Okay, I know I said I wanted something with keyboard and I found something with keyboard, which is this riff with the same sound same whirly and then after that uh, solo i will repeat the first riff that i played uh, the idea is this which is a lot of it ish as a fact i can make it super open unplug the distortion to the let me change hey unplug the distortion on the mellotron and go for uh, strings regular string Like this uh, string slash flute. Uh, let me go for normal strings. Let me go again. And I need to fix that. Paradam uh, rakabam. No, 
I don't want to put the strings here. Uh, again, from the top. By the way, that A minor acts like a, a, a dominant chord because then uh, it gives a lot of weight. This G minor here gives a lot, a lot of weight. The really, it's fucking heavy, the G minor. And then and then again E You know what? I can use this last to do bam 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 as a um, as a, 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 a moment of silence, but with gives. I'm, I'm from Italy, no, no, eh? and then turning back again to the to do bam to to the riff where I play the solo. It's a nice idea, let me polish it uh, a little. I wanna smoke a cigarette very quickly to help my brain focus a little bit more. And then I'm gonna finish it. So basically the idea that I had at the beginning of something paddish, showgazy with kids, completely, I completely fucked it up and it has become uh, the typical Pink Floyd <laughs> intro, which is not bad. Um, I think I'm gonna go with this vibe of a long intro, with a solo. The main thing is to find a different sound. Something not modern, because I don't want I super bright pads uh, um, or something like that. I want something different that maybe can align with even my grunge influences because the old vibe of this record want to be a mixture between progressive rock and metal and grunge i want to keep those uh, those elements together it's not it's not easy at all another cool thing is this uh, i double the the, the, the melody -da 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 the one with the break in the middle with a couple of guitars okay Couple of guitars and a synth. Then I wanna, I wanna have this vibe going on. And just to give it a little bit of something more to it, and and to give a little bit of structure because I'm, I don't know you guys, but when I'm writing. Okay, sometimes I just need a guitar and a piece of paper to write chords, lyrics and melodies. But sometimes if I don't have a clear vision of it, I like to explore what the sound suggests me. So I really uh, pay attention even to the production side of it. Maybe even um, spending, a, spending a, couple, a couple of minutes to try to pan the thing in the right way, EQing the thing, adding the right effect, uh, which is something that I definitely do on guitars, so, because I'm a guitar player. I really pay attention to those details and maybe that can inspire uh, something. Oh, that melody, the one with the distorted, with the distorted melotron. Hmm. Can be something easy, but you see, if I explore a sound, maybe something new can came up. Let me go for a ride here. It has this, that um, that texture that I was that I was looking for something more shoegazy. This is a 
swooshy kind of sound. I may work a little bit on it. Kind of makes me want to leave this piece here, publish it just to update um, the progress, uh, and start something with this. Something more... Uh, or even something after blood ink and let's start with something fresh. I want to keep it in this video just to see how things can develop differently. It's something that will happen for sure in other videos. So this is the final section of uh, blood ink. I pulled up the sound, the previous sound, made a little bit of changes, less rotary and more uh, distorted battle zone. And I kind of had this idea. That gives me heavy metal vibes, uh, like uh, In the Name of God by Dream Theater, which is my favorite tune of all time, uh, which is a perfect uh, contrast to uh, Blood Ink, which is a, a ba let's call it a ballad because it's only voice and guitar, okay? It, has, it does have strings and piano, but the core is guitar and vocals which is perfect as a beginning of an album then um a contrast this heavy <sighs> it can have a long uh, i will work on this idea on another video this, this is going to this is going too much out of the rails okay uh, let's go back to to the previous idea so let's uh, wrap up this video uh, basically, what I wanted didn't happen, okay? I end up creating this weird Pink Floyd slash Opet hybrid, uh, uh, which doesn't sound bad, it was not ugly as fuck, okay? The plane is what it is, but because it's a demo stage, uh, I wanted just to add the idea uh, recorded to maybe work on it later. I want to explore this sound, keep in mind, let's modernize it, okay? Let's not modernize. Let's grungy it up a little bit more um, dirty, a little more saddish. Uh, okay, you know, sad music is king. What we learn from this that uh, sometimes things go off the rail and sucks, but there's uh, a seed of inspiration, something that I can work on it. So. Um, I need to organize this session a little bit better, maybe keep the thing that I want to keep and uh, let's go, let's go, let's call it today. My name is Gianluca, I'm writing a concept album. I end up working two days for two minutes of music that I'm gonna completely throw away and rework it. It's normal. And the only thing that I really love about this is this part. The only thing that I want to keep is this one. Two days of work for one, two, three, four, four, five measures, something like that. Not bad. Ciao.